you can stumble upon two meanings of hydration in web development. If someone is talking about hydrating an object, they mean filling that object with data. The term is not coupled with any specific programming language, so let's say we have a class that describes a person. When we instantiate that class into a new object, that object does not have any data in, only the default values. We hydrate the object when we fill the data into that object from a database, an external data source like a headless CMS or any other way. This is typically used in single page applications when the server provides the visitor with a small HTML skeleton that shows a preloader, tells the visitor that something is happening on the background and it's only after the client's browser downloads all the scripts and hooks the functionality that the single page application starts showing data. We hydrate the application. The other thing you may stumble upon is react dom.hydrate function this function is specific to a JavaScript uh, framework React and uh, is used for the scenario when the server renders the whole HTML of uh, a specific page. The HTML is sent to a client, but the page is not responsive. It becomes responsive only after the accompanying functionality is downloaded from the server and the React DOM.hydrate function is actually called on the load event of these scripts and hooks the functionality with uh, the rendered markup. Let's take a look at this page. You see that it's all rendered, but the button is unresponsive until the scripts and the functionality is hooked. It's only after this uh, event that the button counter shows incrementing values. So I hope that you now understand what hydration is. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below uh, make sure to subscribe to not miss any of the new videos and I'll see you in the next one.